All right, so and so, welcome back. Oh, I just moved and I, I, th I thought I was disappearing. <laughs> Somebody told me I'm too dark for TV. But anyways, my name is Ben Sanko. Good morning. Welcome back. This is why in the morning the segment is MCM. And before we get too far, I want us to do each other a favor. There's our social media platforms. That includes Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter at y 254 channel Instagram is y254 underscore channel and personally at Brian Sock 101. The hashtag is why in the morning. And interesting topic that we, we're about to get into. We're going to talk about entertainers. I don't know each time Aziad pops in my head. I think we need to be friends with Aziad. But anyways, yeah, we are friends. We are friends in my head though, but now in real life. But question to look at more Lisa social media ni ni jobs kamagani hazikai serious like in isn't a leap. By the way. You know, how, have you ever thought to yourself, um, for example, size you want your daughter a grow up a co engineer? Why am I saying daughter? You're, you want your son to grow up a co engineer, a co pilot, a co doctor, a co neurosurgeon. But then your kid is like me, I want to be a DJ. But then I've never understood why DJs are not taken that seriously. Well, nowadays you can go to a club, DJ in one event, and you're paid 200,000. Why is it some careers are not taken so seriously, especially in this day and age? But I, I understand we live in, a, in, a, in an age where there's social media and you have to ensure that at least you have, you have your presence online. You have to signify, cement your presence online, which is good. And people are earning a lot of money out of it. And to actually joining us live in studio to actually expound on this uh, interesting topic, we have two powerful gentlemen. And by the way, one of them is a dancer and the other one is a comedian. They'll tell us how they actually got into that. But then they are studying very serious courses. So the first guest on my immediate right is George Mulinge. He is here. You can, all, you can call him also Mukongo. I think that is his AKA or alias Mukongo. He's a comedian, MC and an actor as well. And then uh, next Next to him is Gabriel Alex. He's a dancer and he's studying computer science. Next, he's studying <laughs> industrial chemistry, serious courses, serious courses still. The, uh, da Gabriel is studying computer science. I can only imagine how these people are trying to, you know, juggle between being a dancer and being a serious computer instructor. First of all, uh, Karibuni Sana, go in the morning. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Right, let me start with you. Um, um, Congo. <laughs> yes. uh, hopefully, you may pronounce Vizuri. Uh, how did you actually get to co a comedian and yet to study industrial chemistry? Is of you two as the end of Nishani? And as I imagine, Mzaiaki Jua, we want to talk about comedian, and yet I'm a clear fees when we study industrial chemistry. First of all, I'm a chocolate time with Lianza. Actually, it's my mom only, and it's, it has been nothing but support since, it was, since the first. I, since the first day I said that I yeah. want to do comedy. Uh -huh. So basically, uh, growing up, I was always the one who was getting cast into, cast into roles. When there is a parents' day, I'm the one who is always leading the other kids. And when I'm Bishop Ale. Yeah, when always in front. You know. I, I always mm. found myself more in front rather than seated listening. Right. Also in class, I was more of... Always the, oh, yeah. Jokes or check <laughs> yeah, I was that kind of person. Yeah. Always got me in trouble a lot of times. Yeah. And when I finished high school, yeah. uh, after I finished in 2019, 2020 that year, I started making memes, just keeping myself busy during the lockdown. Oh, when you also like creating memes, is that <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. That was in, during 2020 after... Okay. I was just teaching myself video editing, watching mm -hmm. people like Flaco, trying to do. Uh, I used to do short, short clips like that, but used uh -huh. to keep them to myself. I'll post online. Yeah. But when I joined campus in 2021 mm -hmm. now, okay. is when I met this crew of mine mm -hmm. and I found we were all creatives. And then we, we said, let's start writing scripts, let's start shooting comedy. And on December 2021, I officially started my YouTube channel and posting. Ah, so go on a channel, Pia. Yeah. So I started okay. doing online skits first. Uh -huh. But then with time, Churchill Show, I will hear this Churchill Show audition in mm. MKU, in, in, in yeah. the two rivers. Yeah. I went there. I never got to... to I, could make it I was to never chosen, final. yeah. Uh -huh. But nevertheless, I continued doing contests in school. Yeah. And last year, during the KU Culture Week, 
Uh -huh. I participated in the KU Culture Week comedy night, okay. where Sleepy David was the one of the adjudicators. Okay. And after that, he told us, no matter, there was, I was not the winner also, okay. but he told us, all of you, come, I'm starting a show called Comedy and Cocktails. Uh -huh. Come, let me nurture you. And ever since October, I've been there each and every Wednesday. Okay. And the going is so good so far. All right, fantastic. And look at you here, you are on TV. Before we get to the topic, Gabriel. Yeah, uh, yeah. First of all, look at computer science, but we only dance. Najaribu could relate the two. I will explain. Yeah, Nitumia Dugagani. Yoyote, Ile Borei Square, Kikisi. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you have said, uh, my name, sir. Eh? My name, sir. I'm an Gina. Yeah, Zote. Oh, Soma Zote. Gina ni Gabriel Alex Musioka. Mm -hmm. Mino Sasa. Okay. And, um, Good and that. Yeah. <laughs> and, Ukiangalia, Mini dancer, Sindio. Yeah. Mzayano Chukulia serious. I'm Zay. Mm. Like, according to me, Sasa, mm -hmm. Akunam to home on a Jew, like, while they were too serious home on a Jew. Ah. Yeah. When you want a Jew to me, my aunties. Aha. Man calls such such people. But I'm your feature. When I do a singing, eh? They want to start paying the school fees. Yeah. Okay, Zanza Kwambia, you are doing content, you are dancing over there online. Ni ni ni. On each kulia, when I do a new level to a zoma ends, you know get. Yeah. So kuch kuch kulia kit kama i, what each kulia ni kama joke. Aha. When I get. Yeah. Yeah. So my journey kwa dance. Nilianza back in high school. Mm -hmm. Back in high school nilikuwa na involved na vitu kama kwenda entertainment kuwachi watu waki dance. Yeah. Una, unaelewa sasa? Yenu mluka wala boys ya unasumbua sato. Ya, yeah, pale sato <laughs> ma entertainment tuko hapo, uh -huh. hapo kwa stage, tuna dance, tuna dance, tuna dance. Yeah. Una get? Mm -hmm. So, uh, ikafika place, hapa 2020, ita imi ya COVID-19. Kwanza nikaacha, nikamua, wacha kwanza nikonzentrate na masomo. And then from there, nikaacha dance, nikaanza kujinvolve na vitu kama football. Yeah. Yeah. Nika, nika, yeah football Mono liachana na story ya dance. Is it because ulipatika nuko mistake ama kulikuwa na reports mbaya? Yeah, ama kuna kitu ulifanya shule? Ya yeah, kulikuwa na reports mbaya about dance. Uh -huh. In such that wase wa shule yetu, uh -huh. walikuwa naenda wanaribu, wanaribu uh -huh. CV ya shule uko inje. Okay. So ni kwa wacha nijikate kwanza for the time being. Uh -huh. yeah. Cheza chini ya maji kia. Yes. Cheza chini ya maji kwanza ni cheza futa. Uh -huh. Then uh, from 4 ika kufika. Nika wanza kuwa a bit serious. Nika soma, nika soma. Uh -huh. Nika maliza viema, nika faulu. Uh -huh. Thank God nili faulu. Yeah. Nili faulu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then after that, ndiyo sasa nika kuja. Hii period ya ina kuanga ya kungoja results na umemaliza. Yeah. So your period, nika ina Nairobi kwa anti yangu. Ah, Kukakuja ka Nairo. Nikakuja ka Nairo kwa anti yangu. Mm. Hapa embakasi. Yeah. Then the, within that period, ndo nilikuja nika kutana na mse anitangwa tabu official. Okay. Yeah, anajitanga tabu official pale mtandao. Uh, uyo jamaa, haka can introduce kwa dance crew yake. Aha. Ambayo inajita Vibe Dance Africa. Okay. Yeah, could introduce kwa dance crew. Nika anza kula new skills new moves and here and there. But the, neza kuambia, si kuanga perfect sana. Nilikuwa mm -hmm. ule msi wakuji, kungangana, nilikuwa yeah. nangangana, tu, ni dance tuju, nilikuwa nimeka sana bila kuda, bila kudance. Umse mm -hmm. haka nifunza, tukaanza kujua na nao, say, then, dance ikaanza kuingia tu kwa mwili, ikarudi, ikaanza kurudi. Yeah. Yeah, after niwepata results, ito lilikuja nikapata ile kareja, neza, neza sasa dance nikiwa, Ukifanya course yako. Ukifanya Now, course yako. Between course, between choosing the career that you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, which is computer science, yeah. uh, ili kujia automatic uluko nataka kufanya yu course, but then uka talent, tuseme talent yako ni dancing. Yeah. But then career specifically ni computer science. Yeah, yeah. So ma, I'm looking at it niki, niki, niki jiangalia from a parent's perspective. Mm -hmm. Umesama kuna venyo ume, ume feature, hakuna yeah. mtu wanajua, maybe ni maantis, na hata maybe wajui details mingi. Yeah. Mbona ui feature na mbona is kuwa serious career like watch computer science, mm -hmm. wakujia tu dance professionally. Kwa zuki angalia watu kama agi the dance queen. They are taken so serious, mm -hmm. uh, they are earning a lot of money, wame appear in a lot of music videos, including competitions, zanyazimepeleka Kenya on the 
the map and it's a serious profession mbona mzazi asichukulie tu dancing aiye ke hapo compare na computer science sema ah since gabriel anaweza ku dance cha tu mwache and the dance school iko career serious yeah hapo sasa hiyo swali ni tricky kiasi juu kiangalia mzazi hawa wazazi wenye naishi na wao like wanachukulia ngama somo ndio kila kitu aha unaelewa sasa Mm-hmm. Like when I say, ma, without education, you cannot, you cannot prosper. Education is the key. It's the key to success. Mm. It's the key to everything. Right. Yeah. So I don't need to go to the future. I want to go to the future. I want to go to the future. I want to go to the social media. Right. So I want to go to the future. I want to go to the future. I want to go to the future. So you're in trouble after this. Endela, yeah. <laughs> endela. <laughs> Then nikakuja nika select course nika select computer science of which many uliza kama yeah. bora usifanye dancing or what usifanye dancing professionally mm. Mm. So uh, the thing about choosing computer science ili come abruptly ile like unaona high school sikufanya computer yeah. but after results course eh, yenye nilikuwa na expect nipate sikupata siku manage kuipata Uh-huh. Mimi niko na na aspire kufanya medicine. Okay. Yeah but grade ni pata cut off points zilikuwa sawa lakini when it comes to the nini wase wenye wenye walikuwa nataka kufanya medicine ni wengi Kenya. Uh-huh. So nikachu nikachujwa nikamwa the second choice yangu ni kufanya computer science. Yeah. Yeah, nikachu. Initially uko nataka medicine. Yeah. Na ningashangaa uko dancer au combine medicine azinge ndanisha. Azinge ndanisha. Aha. So nasema tu ni plan tu. Okay. So una survive tu in short, tunaenda na mtaratara. Yeah, mimi nacheza tu kivyangu. Okay. Yeah, but niko na wasi wenye naweza sema ndio ame impact kufanya dance. Okay. Yeah. Na uh, mzali kwa anywhere ku influence course ile fa choose ama uli choose tu kivyako. Ah, uh, hiyo course ni choose kivyangu. Okay. Yeah, jua liniambia the only solution now ni wewe uchague chenye unataka kufa, kufanya. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I love that your parents are supportive. Uh, let me come back to you uh, Mr. Comedian. Sijui uh, I don't know how your parents are taking it but kitu uh, na is comedy is a serious profession. Ukiangalia watu kama Chachi ndio hao wame open up platforms zikapewa tu wengine opportunities as well. Mbona tu uh, was chukule is chukule as, as a serious profession as industrial chemistry in unafanya shule. What what strikes the The, what brings the thin line between you know being an actor who is known on TV and being uh, an industry uko pale kwa lab unafanya tu ma science na binoculars ni nini ni microscope mbona is you could serious and the same you know first thing is the stereotype that everybody has grown up with uh-huh. where education i too believe education is the key to success okay yeah because i've seen it work for people and others so comedy is just a new industry it okay. started with akin uh, with mzeo juang and then there was ridiculous then there were a few other shows then churchill came and did something that had never been done before so okay. you find comedy is just a growing industry but at, at the moment it's a very stable industry yeah. so um, that's why i told you actually i'm very lucky to have mm-hmm. my parent is very supportive because even the first video that i did Okay. My mom was the one who paid for it. Like I was I was in first year, did not have any money of my own. I told her, mm. "Hey, I just called. I was also I also lacked plans. So no, just right. call a videographer, we just did it." Then no. I and the night I told, "Hey, mom, I just shot my first video and this 500 shillings I need to pay the videographer." Right. Yeah, so she's very supportive okay. because they have grown up seeing what Churchill. I'll thank I'll thank Churchill for that. I also grew up watching what Churchill had done for other guys and I was so very hopeful right. to eventually finish school and you know growing up everybody telling you wenda Churchill we manzi unafa kwa Churchill right that was the the always the plan right yeah so comedy right now there are people who still don't believe in it because right when you meet a comedian at first you might those people have had personal interaction with people right. doing comedy or any other form of art right. can also not believe in it because art you have to nurture yourself first before you get to that even when i'm not making people laugh right. 
and to the time I'll be making the whole of Kenya laugh trending videos uh, the whole week, uh -huh. I'll still be calling myself a stand-up comedian. Right. You know? But, but you're studying a different course, a serious course, so it means you have two professions. Just in case you fail, uta dependia ingine. I can always do both. We are okay. in a capitalistic country. Uh -huh. I, I perform comedy during the night. What am I doing during the day? I can also be doing, because I can be, you know, I've seen, I've, I've seen, I have mentors out here. Okay. Like Henry Desagu told me, mm -hmm. if the course that brought you to Kenyatta University, you know he was also an alumni of Kenyatta University, told me yeah. the course that brought you to Kenyatta University uh -huh. is industrial chemistry. Finish it first. Art is, art is always in you. Uh -huh. So finish it first because it, there's a reason you came to do it. Right. So I'm, I'm sure when I, I finish this degree, and, and I'll also be, I have plenty of time. I'm only, I'm young. I don't have any children. Right. I have a lot of time on my, on my disposal. Right. When others are going out to do parties and stuff, I can right. be using that to read now. When right. the other time I was doing stand-up comedy, acting, Okay. Because right now, that's what I believe. I have a lot of time at my disposal. All right. So I can balance all of them right now. Right. So after the four years, I hope that I'll have matured in comedy, in acting, in mm -hmm. the production that we are building with my friends. Yeah. And also, I, I, I also t wish to have matured in industrial chemistry yeah. in a way that I can also get a job. Because right. yeah. we are all just looking to make money. Right. I'm also looking at it from a parent's perspective to say, for example, uh, when I'm Zai, yeah. and then uh, nilikuwa nime mention before though, mkona mtoto wako, mtoto wako, nakuwa mbe, eh, mi nataka kuwa dancer, nataka kudance kama Aziad. And then, uh, let's imagine you guys, mnataka kwa ile reserved families, you're like, sisi ni wasewa church, it's church, school, home. Yes. And then uh, your daughter is like, mom, I'm a dad, uh-uh. -uh. Mr. Zana na industrial chemistry, please manilipie ni ende ni meet kina agi the dance queen, nataka ku dance TikTok. Um, reaction yako itakuwa adhi. Will you take it seriously mwambia, hey, hey, okay, so let's Google the nearest dance school to kupeleke to lipe fees for a semester of kid dance fiti, it will be okay. Definitely. I'll be very supportive. As long, uh -huh. when if she's young, I'll accept it because that's something that she'll be doing and it, it's she might, it, you know, sometimes passions come, hobbies bring, bring out passions. You can do it as a hobby, then it becomes your passion, then it becomes your career. Right. So I'll let her do it definitely, but also I'll make sure when she's not doing, she's also doing a lot of things. Right. Just being a productive member of the society. Right. So I'll just allow her to do it as long as she's doing it for the right cause, not doing other things out there. Right. And uh, when you say she wants to dance like Aziad, is there, she, do you mean like she wants to dance like Asia or she wants to be a dancer? Because there are so many types of dances. You know, there's always kuna kuanga na ule role model. Pala sikianga, nataka ku dance, kama sdi nani. Who's the best dancer? I think Chris Brown is the best dancer when it comes to like male singers. And nataka kwa kama Chris Brown, nataka Chris Brown, tawambio Chris Brown, are you ko Kenya ko? Angale facilities that Chris Brown or compare in Azako, Africa, they'd be like, you're out of your mind. But I'd, I'd like to also hear your insights, the like, your mindset, bro. For example, when I'm Zai, I'm going to say, 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 i Okay. I don't like like um, doing what other people wants me to do. Uh -huh. I usually do what makes me happy. Uh -huh. Yeah, like uh, before, I can say that my name, like jina yangu nilikuwa na jita, nilikuwa na jina. Okay. Ile ya Rudy Guy, nilikuwa na jita Rudy Guy. A Rudy Guy. Rudy Guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, Rudy Guy back boy. Like from rude, the word rude. Not rude. Uh, Rudy. Oh, Rudy. Yeah. Okay. Because nilikuwa lost, then kajirudia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Then uh. after yo jina, uh, nikanza coach videos za uh, kina Kolo Blue. Mm -hmm. Mwenye ni dancer. Yeah, mwenye ni dancer. Mm -hmm. Kina Kendi Christine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those people wakanza kuni influence. Nikanza kuji kufile, taka kufanya iyo. Mm -hmm. Taka kuwa kama Kolo Blue. Yeah. Taka kuwa meet. Uh -huh. I just want to meet them and do collabs with them. 
Uh-huh. Yeah and that's where nikajipata tu niko dancer tu nikajipata ni shingia ni shingia kwa industry. Hivyo tu. Uh-huh. Yeah. Na ni, ni kuuliza for example ufanye hiyo course yako malize yeah. uh, ushagraduate yes. would you definitely of course mzaata kuuliza mbona hawendi kutafuta job yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we loki unafanya mambo yako ya dancing yeye amesema yeah. but they expect you graduate maliza and yeah. usa ke job uinge kwa ofisi uanze kufanya 9 to 5 Yeah. Do akuchukulia seriously. Do you feel like italeta shida at some point wasema ah my son tulipeleka shule ustudy cost me lipa fees almost over 5 million and then here you are you're joining in a color blue. Yeah. Don't you think italeta rift to wasema eh ah 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 we need to pray for you. We need to <laughs> contact a pastor right now. Because yeah. this is not serious. Uh-huh. Yeah, sir, so according to me like I usually base myself when I rent na color blue. Like this person is the kind of person mwenye who ana ana plan time yake you plan your time ana plan time yake anasema kuna siku za job na kuna siku za kufanya shoot za videos hmm. yeah like you choose a single day in a week then you do the shoot of the videos na hiyo siku bado ndio unafanya practice ndio na shoot yeah. you see that is that comes when like weekends weekends yeah. when you are free you go yeah. and shoot videos una shoot video za za kuposta hadi hadi wiki mbili you see then the rest of the days of the week you are there job doing your job and uh, kila kitu inakuwa sawa right uh, from a generation this mindset uh you know like kana nikitu rice sana but yeah. comes i be like a uh, hataki your story yeah. now ningependa to shift gears to angle from a point of money yeah. uh, Um, kila mtu anataka kumek pesa yeah. in as much as unataka ku dance uta dance to for free at utakuona ita kwa event ni nini at least unataka kama unaitwa mm-hmm. kuna red card unapeana useme hey, I mean, dance kwa event yako lazima nilipe 100k yeah. uh, in terms of comparing the seriousness do you feel like uh, an office job is, has more um, let's say it got more uh, pace or more results as compared to like uta dance for long before pate gig yenyewe utakulipa to 50 ama 180 I'm at a 50k. Like okay. Uh, when it comes to to like ukiangalia from my own perspectives, yeah. ukiangalia from my field yenye niko ya dance, kitambo watu wako wanachukulia dance seriously. But mm-hmm. nowadays kuna vile ma dancers wenyewe wame wamejitolea in such that watu wanaanza kuiona iko si iko serious sana. Like unaweza pata place kama TikTok. TikTok watu wanadhani TikTok ni iko iko tu for the okay. sake of kumeku mtu akwe famous yeah. of which is not true there are benefits in that yeah. there are adverse benefits in TikTok yeah. yeah the same case with YouTube okay yeah na Instagram the same okay. kama TikTok for example unapata when you umefika minimum ya 10k followers then The, the rest about kulipwa utakuwa lipwa according to the number of likes you get let's say wanasemanga in that days you are active and then you receive 100 100 100k likes you are able to gain something from that okay. yeah all right uh, let me shift it to you in terms of urgency ya pesa <laughs> let me say ma mzazi anataka umalize industrial chemist definitely utaenda kwa mse wa research pale kwa lab i believe if not and many other options that your course yes. do you feel like uh, comedy to more money urgently than uh, industrial chemistry which one are you likely to get a job faster from you i know it's comedy <laughs> you know what i was believing it's all risky it's all a risk it's all nice. risky you know okay. that's why i live in different life principles so yeah. i believe when i finish school Uh-huh. I believe I love the connections to get secure me a job. Uh-huh. But I also believe Would that, make your time. Yeah, with the ones that even I have already with the ones okay. I'm continue to build and I also believe mm-hmm. that by the time I finish I will have already created a big brand in uh-huh. Kenya enough to pay me even to have ca- capture enough of my time to an extent I can't even get a normal 9 to 5 job. All right. That's all in belief form. And that's why we are we are working every day towards every, it. But currently I believe comedy has already given me more fruits mm. than industrial chemistry at the moment because okay. So far that's that's my position at the moment. Okay. Comedy has already taken me places, acting has already taken me places, given me 
shown me that at least there is hope in this industry. Right. Meanwhile, in industrial chemistry, I'm just there, staying strong, eh? you know? Mm -hmm. Late well, nights, doing those, those assignments, those cuts, getting those grades. Right. Just to see what, after I'm handed that degree, what it will all end up to. I'm, all, I'm just waiting. That's so that's, that. that's just it. Okay. Uh, 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 let me ask you this. Uh, what do you think are some of the myths and misconceptions around creative arts, especially uh, uh, dancing, story kama acting singing like mtu ali alipele kwa medicine tu vizuri akafanya kama liza kaacha akaambia mzaende hii certificate nime graduate but what i mean and nifanye djing huko hiyo ndo napenda mbona kuna myths and misconceptions mingi around creative arts na the seriousness that it's taken as a profession is very much different na let's say like serious formal courses and you're sitting down to read philosophies do research facts etc seriously as many others as well you know for someone who understands art or an artist one thing that people are not artists but i believe everybody is an artist one thing that people need to know it's way deeper than you think than than you think it is it's very deep Okay. So that's why you'll see someone will draw away eight years of his life to get that doctorate degree. But at the end, he or she will venture into art because it's more of a calling. Yeah, it's more of a, yeah, uh -huh. it's more of a calling. Okay. It's, at the end, you realize, wow, I got this degree. I'll be making money, just waking up. But on the other hand, I can, between DJing, work every day tirelessly because I love it. I can do it 24-7. Yeah. And also make people art you know it's about giving back it's right. about creating something and then showing uh, showing it to people right. just like you know i believe everybody is an artist because even the carpenter who made this is right. an artist either if mm -hmm. he made it out of his a job or just he loved it creatively yeah. right. so i feel that's why people tend to draw away all those jobs because it's way deep it goes way deep and it is key to the fulfillment of any artist right. that he finally lets that art out to the world to see all right so that's what i believe it's way deeper okay alex yeah um pardon the question the question is uh why why, is, why should why, why is it not that we can take it as serious as 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 formal courses and you study back it up with facts and then monotus is to collect the same equality yeah uh according to miss sasa the thing is, uh, according to Venyawata and Ichikulia, it is based on the, the personality and mentality. Okay. You see, like when we, we look at the Izo Mainzi za Kitambo, what we call Ichikulia, we call them Mutumunya Mesoma, and the Mutumunya, I may make it in life. Okay. And then, as generations end, like Kuja, 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 the same thing is being passed from generation to generation. Until imefikia kwa hii generation yetu. Bado watu wana, wanaamini, bado masomo diyo kila, ki, kila kitu. Awachukuli hizi maarts kama kitu iko serious. Wanadhani ni mche, ni mchezo watu wanafanyanga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like kama dance, wacha nyonge in terms of dance, mostly. When it comes to dance, uh, people tend to say that when you venture into dance, you are just a joker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my fellow cosmates. They usually tell me, Gabriel, here and there, you're just joking. You're not doing ev the, what is required of you to do in school. And then I'm like, okay, why should I, why should I listen to you? Yeah. yeah. Because nasema, na, na ile, ile morale ya kusema, this is the same thing that imekuwa passed on from generation to generation. Okay. Yeah. So any mindset, mindset. in a change as time goes by because to go to Generation Z uh, season, in, uh, it's like everything is now easy. Uh, yeah. Most Generation Zs, they're all about that social life. Kila mtu nataka kwa social media. At least every Generation Z uh, kid are kona TikTok, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like your biggest platform for you as a dancer. Yeah. Now to say, for example, someday, unataka kuji introduce to a person like the president. Yeah. <laughs> we unataka introduce kama scientist, mgena unataka introduce kama journalist, and then inafika kwako unasema ni dancer. Don't you think what akupea some certain look, you're like dancer? Why now? <laughs> Why dance? <laughs> uh -huh. 
mbona inaleta hiyo the ah you know yeah like it's the same case it's mindset what you think it's what you become okay yeah what the god people think of you it is what you are uh-huh. you see but you are we are told that every person as is or a personality like you have the other side of you you see uh-huh. from the from the looks people see me as a, as a dancer uh-huh. you can meet my videos there over there tiktok youtube instagram as gabu the dancer then people are like okay this is a dancer when you meet me there outside you say this is a dancer but there is the other side of me which is a, i'm a student and uh, that cannot change no. i'm a student it is constant i'm doing computer science yes that is the other side of me of which i usually take my course seriously in spite of being in dance yeah all right Uh, in terms of choosing careers do you feel like parents especially uh um, um, mentioned sana mindset yeah. do you feel like parents who who influence uh, sana mm-hmm. causes ama choices zenye uh, watoto wao na for waende ama path on for to go in life mm-hmm. na uh, ina end up kwa west other than wangeka tu wasikize mtu yeye aseme hey alex yeah. na unapenda ku dance tukupeleka to dance school do you feel like uh, especially kwa watu wenye umetoka in, in the in the other generation yeah. do you feel like some of them did wrong things and maybe they are living a life full of regrets instead wange wange sit down or have a conversation na mzai yeah. or convince mzai useme ah mimi nataka kwa etc yeah like w- w- when i base on uh, there is a teacher somewhere yeah. who regrets doing education who says i usually did the course because of my parents they influenced me to do this course and then it's like even in school the way he teach his method of teaching is different completely different like he cannot wake up very early to teach people medials you see it is a certain high school back there you see some of my friends usually me- used to mention to me about their teacher and the teacher could say that don't do something because you are influenced to do what makes you happy do something that 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 inspires you do something out of your passion not just because you are influenced you see yeah. because you will end up in regrets uh personally i chose computer science because uh, i usually like mo- most thing to do things to do with technology I like right. doing things to do with I like technology is my best thing. Right. I like technology. And then and um that's why I have said that you should do what makes you happy. Okay. I decided to do that computer science. And uh I I I took com- that dancing as my my hobby. It is my hobby. You see everybody has is or our own hobby. Okay. Something that you usually do during your free time. Like right. during my do my free time I usually practice dances. I usually watch dance videos. I usually uh exploit everything to do with dance. Even meeting these people, yeah. doing doing collabs with them, you see? Yeah. Yeah, that's my hobby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So be free to go to ki 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 wa cardinal. Uh my bro, do you feel like uh, parents who influence sana choices za watoto wao na kumeka? instead of that let's sit down let's talk you know you want to be etc mbona to skip a chance to scare mindset yako to skip opinion yako mbona to force ko hii familia kila mtu ni engineer daktari mbona is ko to an easy conversation when it comes to making career choices you know your parents will advise you according to what they know is best according to what they know but I believe parents are always more knowledgeable than the child always. Okay. Yeah. Basically the child growing up he, he will love his own life of which he'll never reveal to his parents maybe because the parents have shunned it away the first time or maybe it's not acceptable. And when it comes to career it uh, you find a child uh, maybe there's that career the child wanted and there's the, the, the career the, ch- the parents wanted. Right which is a conflict now now yeah now there is a conflict but i like to be very open minded about that idea because yeah. there is a period where you could not be employed with dreadlocks oh, yeah. now you've gone to school you know, in campus you have dreadlocks you have dreadlocks and then you finish school 
and you are you are dreadlocks because you are you are you are upcoming rapper you finished high school you've reached finished campus but you are a but yeah. now you are an adult you have to go and look for a job Mm -hmm. You know, because we believe you'll make it in music, you're going to look for a job with the dreadlocks. And now it's a, it's, let's say it's between the 2000s, the 2000s and the 1990s where dreadlocks was a... Was a taboo? Yeah. Okay. So the parents are telling you, hey, cut off those dreadlocks because you won't find a job. Now you say, no, it's fine, it's fine, until one time you come and cut those dreadlocks and you get a job. Uh -huh. Now the parents will be like, ah, we see, ah, see we see, told I told you, you, now, you I know. told you. But now yeah. there's another there's another side where you'll do you'll grow up with your dreadlocks night and jeepa. Yeah. And then you'll be telling your parents the your parents will be like, ah, oh, oh. Yeah. Because there's some professions immediately you step in the room now some certain dress code, they'll yeah. be like, Nope, you're out. So it's it's uh -huh. about what has been fed to you. But you know, when because today we are talking about art and artists. Uh -huh. Art began way back during even the Roman centuries where just it was just a form people were just being called to entertain the king right. just like entertainers without being paid yeah. but as life evolved humans evolved humans Mindsets become changed, yeah you know. humans became heading jobs which were more serious kept taking all their time so they need entertainment just to relax now yeah. artists took that as an industry in a big industry invested into that and it became a full blown industry right so now that explain now the mindsets now. Now we are beginning to have different conversations yeah. as opposed to different. When I was growing up, I was hearing Usani, IGP, IGP, EVV. So I, was, I knew that education was the way. Yeah. But now I, I believe that even parents... Even the education system, CBC, in the way. Yeah, like even though they have practical. started revolved, yeah. Yeah, to incorporate Shula Sasa. Yeah, to remove that. Uh-huh. So I believe it's always, I'm always open-minded about that conversation to believe that parents sometimes may be right and the child also may be right. It's always more about coming, the child now, taking it upon themselves. Right. Because I'm, I'm at the position of the child right now. Okay. And I've realized it's always taking it upon yourself to do what you just, you just set out to do. Yeah. If you're supposed to be in school, just be in school because your parent, she, she has, he, he or she has the decision to take you to school or not. Because after high school, now, ndiyo watu wanazanga kwa na shida mingi na wazazi, now career. Now that, that's where you choose the yeah. career. Mm -hmm. So now you are at a position where your parents tell you, I'll give you this money. Go four years, go study, you are 18, by 22 you'll be out. Right. Now when you are there, it's up to you now. Because if you are being sent to campus, now your parent is setting you for success. Because when you're sent out to campus now, it's, if you have that thing that you are opposing with your parent, carry it, it's part of your life. Your parent has nothing to do with it. Right. So just go, go to school. Now you just chase your dream on the side. Okay. And maybe try to balance because now you are an adult. Like give the way he's post. doing. Yeah. <laughs> just balance it out. Okay. You may not tell them, but it's your life. Okay. Because you're not doing anything bad. Because this is a good thing. And it's yeah. also keeping you away from other things. Yeah. yeah, so just taking it upon yourself, don't blame your parents, just work on yourself yeah. and you'll see the fruits now for in a few years. To say for those parents, when you, they're like, usipofanya hii course, <laughs> so how, like, we don't want you. <laughs> I'm sure kuna, kuna wale watu wamepite hiyo, hiyo scenario, nye, mzaza mekwambia ni edo ukuetu, ukuetu vile tulisema, ama utafte njia ingine. Mtu kama uyo aneza, aneza muvuaji ahead in life. Because at the same time, you're still a child, you need support, you still need direction, you need a guiding force, a guiding authority, a kukunacha, a kukuprotect, a kuprovide. But then, umakuwa kichongumu, na mzae na mesema, kama uendivo basi tafta, tafta kuingine, how can they go about it? To a point, a convince mzazi ya mwambie, kama wewe, like umesema mzazi yako, so, ako so supportive ku support comedy, to a point like they don't find it a problem. And you also feel like your industrial chemistry part is not even what you like the most. You like yeah. the comedy part juu. Ima kufunguli anjia mingi, ume meet watu famous, ime kueka in the sport, hata sayu uko TV. Like how can they go? Uh, so, uh, can I, I'll be honest with you in that, on that situation. I have met many people who are like that. Actually, they are being forced. I've met people who are being forced to do a course while they want to do another course. And I've also met people who are, who are forced to do a course while they want to be artists. I've met them in different places I've been performing. So you find it's always a tough one for me because now I can't, now, now there I'm, wow, I never knew. 
I'm so sorry, man. I never knew there are some parents who can be so like that, can be so hard on you such that you have no choice. Because when you can never rebel, you know, one thing I know is never rebel, f never rebel when you are still a child, never rebel, never rebel even never because they have brought you there. Okay. Maybe try and, uh, try and have a conversation with them or as I've said, take it upon yourself. Now prove to them wrong. No. Don't do it mainly. You know, some people just do it to prove their parents wrong. Other people never believed in that. Yeah. But just do it because you wanted to do it and it will prove itself. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I can tell those people who are in that situation and that's what I've told other people. You're in that hard situation, but you wanted to, you wanted to be an artist. Just do it because there's no way you can. The school fees is being paid, just study. It's hard, but it's already happened. If the conversations are not working, just work on, your, on that art. Just, just do it for this moment. If they have said you do another the course when you started, you wanted to do another, just, you just have to respect that. Unless you can go out of your way and make money and pay for your school fees and tell them, I, yeah. I can pay for my own school fees, man. Let me do the course I want. Okay. Otherwise, just do whatever you're under them. Okay. Uh, Alex, uh, Konzo, for you, you said I uh, when he dance. <laughs> uh, so, well, Zazi, or Jina, or Tajua, or Tazusha. I might feel like, but already they'll watch this. Some maybe yeah. they're watching. Yeah. Or TV, or TV, or TV. Yeah. What would you tell someone when Zazi, I'm saying, he, I'm you're out? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the advice that I'll give to that person, I'll just tell them, just take it easy. Okay. Do what your parents say, because you cannot... Kwa kiangalia, for example, hapo ndipo huko, you ndio stay to huko, na wezi toka hapo, hapo ndipo kwa mzazi wako. Like most of the people, when they finish form 4, we are under age, they are under 18 years. Uh -huh. Most of them are under 18, others uh -huh. are over 18. All right. But they do not have the, the national IDs, so they cannot do anything. You okay. see? Uh, so the advice that I could give to those people is uh, that just listen to what your parents says. Okay. Because you are, we are told that the parents know knows better. You see? Yeah. Mzee yeah. 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 akiwa make it chini anaweza ona mba anaweza ona mbali kuliko mtu kijana mwenye amepanda kwa mti. Okay. So let me just sample of your feedback up on social media to got me kuuliza. And the jobs come again as a serious, like in a lipa kulipa. I don't know, does comedy pay? <laughs> it pays? Yeah. From your experience? Yeah. So, uh, Teresia Gadoni and Asemaku Zamaziwa, okay. Uh, feminist Mbone and Asemangon tuned in, thank you. David Wasiko and Asemaku locked in at Itamati, thanks. Alex Moose, Danny, thanks. Uh, Bad Couch and Asemaku count this man in, okay. Uh, youth Man Voke and Asemaku Makali. Hope ni makali ile jena mtu. And then matu wa kikuyu gatuna nasema watching from Nikiu wa kikuyu area. Haha, Maxwell James nasema watching from Thika. Mse wa kuuza smokies na my eye. These people do earn a handsome income. Away from that, um, I'm a criminologist by profession but a journalist by passion. It has always been a difficult task to explain this to my mother. She's just obsessed with criminology which hasn't paid up to now. My goodness, my bad, my bad, my bad. And then Catherine Shiko anasema pamoja hadi tamati from Kahati ya Muranga. Shout out to you. Hey, and then Konsa Nika, I can't read that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lakini. <laughs> Continue interacting with us. Uh, social media, Foster? Uh, I go Mkongo Entertainment on no all social media platforms. Uh -huh. Yeah, at Gabu the Dancer at all social media platforms. All right, thank you guys for your insights. Sasan, thank you for coming. And uh, we have come to the close of the show. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us, by the way. We are also everywhere, including YouTube at Y254 channel, uh, Instagram at Y254 underscore channel, and Facebook at Y254 channel. At Brian Sokono on his minds. Have a, f a fantastic Monday. I'm choking. <laughs> have a fantastic Monday. See you tomorrow for Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Enjoy.